Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is a model that I did um, earlier this year for a client, and they didn't require a, uh, a layout file, so I'm just I'm just going to use this one because uh, I don't already have a layout for it. It's a custom home that's going to be built down south. Okay, so let's uh, go over here and make a layout file. We'll just go open, new layout. Okay, you can see these gray lines in here. It tells me right off that my printer's not set right. So we'll fix that up. This isn't a tutorial about layouts, but might as well be fastidious. Go <clears throat> to print, page setup. Yeah, see those same lines kind of show up here because uh, the drawing sheet's 24 by 36 in this particular case. And the printer is set to my little letter size printer. I'm going to put it on cute. And I don't care about color. And we want to landscape and then we want the size to match the drawing sheet RHD there we go now when I click OK we'll see these virtual lines disappear when I click OK here they'll disappear here okay <clears throat> now, I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff here uh, I'm just going to send some views to this layout and I hit control tab to go back to plan and uh, I'll just create a uh, elevation camera of the front of this house. <clears throat> Probably in this camera view we'll see some trees and stuff but those are bitmaps and they won't send a layout unless I sent the view as an image. Okay. Trees, trees and plants are turned off. So uh, I'm going to send this to uh, layout. Send a layout. And my, I don't know if you're like me but oftentimes uh, especially when I first started learning sheep I never looked at this, at this uh, dialog. But you can send things to different pages than the one that's automatically there, and you can rename these layer sets to whatever you think is a good idea instead of these automatic names. And, of course, in the scaling. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just going to send it at eighth-inch scale. Let's, page one is fine. This is a rather large plan, so uh, it may take a moment to get to, uh, to, get to layout. But the purpose of this tutorial is uh, <clears throat> mainly uh, the question came up about the uh, how to get rid of lines, how to add lines. And uh, so I intend to demonstrate the, uh, once this view gets to layout, maybe I should have uh, used a sim more simple plan. But anyway, I, I picked this one. But the uh, edit layout tool is the one that you use to add and subtract lines on vector views sent to layout. Ve by vector views, I mean views of the mod, 3D virtual model that are just composed of lines and colors, basically lines and fills, as opposed to uh, an OpenGL render view where uh, texture files are applied across surfaces as materials. <coughs> you get the most efficient printing from uh, just black and white lines. <laughs> and, well, I'm sorry this thing's taking so long to send. It must have a bazillion uh, line entities. Well, it probably does. Yeah, I used a lot of railings, and uh, this is a pretty highly detailed model, for me anyway. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about in the meantime? Okay, well, it's paneling down here. There we go, it's speeding up. Come on. All right. Now it's collecting the plot lines, whatever that means. There we go. Now once it's on layout, as I'm sure you already know, you can select the view and adjust the edges to just show that part of the view that you want to show. And sometimes, not all the time, I'm going to put this up here. Sometimes I like the border lines to be on. Well, they're, those are natively on. You just open the, let's see. Okay, those are natively on, I think, layout. Let's see. I'm sorry. Wrong wrong tool. This this is what I wanted. They're on a layer called layout box uh, borders. And so you can see they're turned off by default. And you can use this to turn the, the border on. And see, it makes it visible. But sometimes, if you're like me, I, I don't want that. And it's just globally, universally on or off. 
And what I commonly do when I want that effect is not to use this, this tool here, or that setting. Just take the view and open its uh, own dialog. Go to line style and take it off this layer. Put it under like the default CAD, for instance, which is turned on. That way I can selectively put views on there that have a border and some that don't. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to, to uh, this view here. I'm going to close it. I don't need it anymore. I don't need it updating. I'm just going to pull a camera view of this same general thing, but an isometric camera view. <clears throat> and I'll select a vector view once it uh, initializes. It'll probably come in and uh, open GL first. <clears throat> Okay, see all the tree, those all the bitmap image trees and so forth. Can't hardly even see the house. It's pretty, but anyway, I'm going to change over to vector view camera type, so we'll clear out all of that uh, flora. Okay, well we didn't clear it out. We just turned, but it is now a vector view. I guess I'd have to turn off uh, plants, and I think I broke it down into custom layers for to separate the plants and the trees and so forth, but. I, this will serve my purpose. I'm going to send this to layout. File send to layout. Or I could use that icon up there for that. And I just want it sent uh, current screen as a vector view. And you'll see when it once it gets to layout that uh, the trees and and flowers and so forth will be gone, and only the vectorized uh, symbols will be left. Probably see some of this outline of the flower bed and some things like that, but the trees and flowers will be gone. He said confidently. Well, and I'm kind of sorry I chose this plan because it, it kind of extends the video unnecessarily. Well, bear with me. Well, it's generating the plot lines, whatever that means. Chug, chug, chug. I have a six core uh, CPU and a pretty good video card, but uh, heavy plans like this just take, they take as long as they take. And you just have to uh, reap what you sow, so to speak. <laughs> okay, well, once this gets sent to layout, then I, I'm going to get down to the, the meat of the uh, tutorial, which is just demonstrating quite simply the uh, Edit Layout tool. So for those of you who don't know, for those of you who do, that you don't really need to watch this video. Okay, there's the panels. See it down here in the taskbar. Come on, baby. Okay, we're collecting the plot lines. <clears throat> okay, so there's my vector view. I think in this case I, I want uh, it to have a border as well. And if you're unfamiliar with this, uh, with vector views, you can resize them with using the corner ha handles. You can make them larger or smaller. If the side handles just show more or less of the view. In this case, in other words, this is an unscaled view. That's an un that's a scale view. So I'm going to pull this in a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at the vector lines on here. Looks like I've got some extra lines right here that are not particularly adding to the uh, ambiance of the drawing. So here's the Edit Layout tool. See the uh, tool tip there? It says Edit Layout. Left click on that. That puts you in the mode. And then I can left click on lines in a vector view and s select and then delete. And if you goof up and delete some lines that you want to keep, then... Uh, I'm going to hit F5. To, okay. Some of those lines were, were gone, but they were, there was still a ghost of them there. That's a fault of my video card. It's a good video card, but it's not a great video card. Okay. Now I'm going to press the Shift key, left click, and drag to create a marquee. And this is a little bit quicker way to select lines and get rid of them. Okay, hit F5 to clear that up. Okay, that's fairly clean on that side. But I've got a little glitch right here. Now, maybe I'll be picking this here, but let's pick some this. You know, why not? I'm going to delete that line, delete this line, 
and hit F5. Whoops. I hit F6 instead. Get back to work. There we go. Wait a minute, that's not it. Okay, I'm going to press shift and left click drag to get those lines. Missed one. Left click on that. Hit the delete key. Okay, that's fairly clean. Except right here, I don't particularly like this line here. And you'll notice I have uh, the uh, show line weights tool on. And I commonly use this right before I print. But for editing purposes, I usually turn it off. So uh, now all I see is just those little skinny lines. Not the the uh, with the fat added to see how they're going to print. I'm going to take this line here and extend it. Whether that's true or correct or whether I should do that or not, it's really beside the point. I'm just demonstrating that you can alter these. You can delete lines, select them, extend them, flip cut, drag that one down. And uh, the uh, angle snaps works uh, with this tool as well. With the angle snaps off, let's just turn that off. You can also create lines, and you can see I just left click drag, and I'm still in uh, edit layout tool mode. Okay, so I can draw lines, and with the angle snaps off, I can draw them. See now it, they'll snap in seven and a half degree increments, and then I can reselect these and delete them. So it's quite handy, and I uh, don't want that line there. I want it to go over here to the like that. That looks better to me. <laughs> But that's, this gives you a, a quick way to clean up your drawings for printing. Uh, I could delete these little lines here and, uh, delete, you know, clean these up straight like this little jog here. I, don't, I didn't intend to jog there, but I kind of got a jog. Extend that, whoops. Extend that line over. It's snapping back for some reason. Okay, I got it to say that time. This line here, we'll get rid of it. Don't need that line. And extend this one down. I mean, this depends on how anal you are, how, how much you do with this, okay? I'm mainly, I'm doing it because I'm demonstrating. I probably wouldn't have fixed that on this particular drawing had I done uh, construction drawings on this. These are, the drawings for this model was actually done by an architectural firm and uh, that are going to build the house, but the, the guy wanted it modeled, not for this purpose, but so he and his wife uh, could work on the thing. And, and he, he did some beautiful renderings and, and things with it, and it was a lot of fun to do. But this is a this was done. This particular plan file was for a, a different purpose. Now let's go down and look at the isometric and view and see if there's anything needs cleaning up. Yep. And this is just from the standpoint of how I do I want it to look when I when it prints. Now, like this line here, I don't want that there. Get rid of that. We'll just uh, select this one. I'm, I'm, I'm still in uh, edit layout mode. That's why I can do this. I'm going to extend this line up. I'm not saying that that's correct. I just capriciously decided to do it that way. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those lines. Some of them can be a little bitty. Okay, I got those. This one's out of alignment with this one above. So we'll just delete it and extend this one down. So rightly or wrongly, let me get that where it'll snap. I'm going to hit the control key so I can override the snaps on there. Okay. That's more like what I wanted. I just wanted a clean line there. And uh, wherever there's lines missing, you know, of course, you, if you're within the uh, boundaries of the view itself, you can just left-click, drag, and create lines, or left-click, and then extend lines, or uh, just draw them in. So that's what the Edit Layout tool is for. It doesn't, ha doesn't have any other real useful purpose. I didn't have any other purpose that I can think of. So I hope this has helped some of you, some of you guys. And uh, I guess one other thing. I'll turn the uh, edit lay, I mean the uh, show line weights tool back on. You'll see everything gets darker. This will give you, this is not a what you see is what you get kind of a, a tool here, but it does give you a, an idea on relative lightness and darkness of lines. And, and it's quite useful. Uh, when you're printing, you print something out, it's too light, then you can turn this tool on, come back in, and uh, adjust the line weights. I, well, I guess it's worthwhile. To, I'll just show you a little bit about that, because in the edit line weight tool, 
we'll let's just click on one of these pattern lines and we'll open it. Okay, it's got a dialog box. Everything in Chief has pretty much a dialog box. And you can see that's what the default weight is. And you can change that value, make that, that line or all pattern lines, see? Edge lines. Edge lines are these these ones here. And pattern lines are these these lines here. So you can uh, control it line by line. And by changing this value here, you can make it darker or you can put a minus value in there and make it lighter. Uh, I've noticed a lot of uh, chief, chief users, especially even ones that have been going for years and years, sometimes don't know about some of these little nuances. <clears throat> and uh, you can actually change the color, or you could, let's see, in earlier version, yeah, in a line color. Uh, you know, if you're putting in color, <laughs> that's something that you could do if you wanted to. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your kind attention. Hope it helps some people.